Just imagine if you're walking innocently along the beach area and minding your own business. It's a regular day, nothing special. Taking a walk, hear the sound of the sea, the sound of the waves. It's beautiful, it's very relaxing, it's very, very nice. And as you're walking, you hear like splashing. Sounds very interesting. So you give a closer look, you stop for a moment to see is everything okay, what's going on, and you, and you suddenly you see like a head bobbing, you know, up and down. There's something wrong going on over here. First you think maybe the guy is, you know, testing his snorkel, or, you know, testing his underwater camera, or whatever it might be, but eventually you see that there's something wrong, and you can hear him gasping, and you start running and running and close, there's nobody else around. The place is a deserted place, it's empty, you took a walk there by yourself. There's nobody there, it's just you. It's all on you. And you take your jacket off, you've got these heavy boots, and you flick them off, and you just run into the water without any thought. You're not even a good swimmer. You don't even know how to swim, never mind a good swimmer. But you know, there's no cheshbonus, there's no calculations, you just go. And you go in there, and you go all the way down to where you see, and eventually he sees that you're coming, and he's like, help me, help me. And you take his arm, and you slowly find a way to schlep him back. And by the time you schlep him back, there are other people who obviously passed or heard or whatever it is, and they've come to the scene, and everybody's there to see the hero of today who saved this person's life, and it's unbelievable. And you just give him a little bit of CPR, whatever, and Baruch Hashem, he makes it, you go to the hospital with him, and it's unbelievable. And can you imagine... Can you imagine what that feels like? Can you imagine what it means to f- save somebody's life? To save somebody's life. Chazal tell us that when you save somebody's life, it's as if you saved the whole world. I mean, just take it, just imagine if he was a young fellow that was about to get married, and he gets married, he has children. Those children have children. Can you imagine the generations and generations of people, of Doris, that you, you, saved? All because of you. Can you imagine what that is? What a schar, what reward, what a hero, what a chash of a yid. Unbelievable, look at you. Amazing, eh? But down the road, from where you were standing, and where you did this very, very chash of a important act of saving somebody's life, there was one of these run-down base medrashes, like one of those small places with the dingy lights, a couple of sfarim, little bookshelves at the back over there. You know, not much going on. There was no, like, coffee, no air conditioning. No, you know, it wasn't like a shmakamatsev. A little run-down base medrash. And there was a fellow there who was sitting there, and he was trying to figure out a pshat and a mishnah, trying to figure out a pshat and a toysfus. It was difficult, it was hard, it wasn't so easy for him. You know, the reading was hard, the explanation was hard, there was no art scroll. You know, life was hard. And he sat there trying to figure out this Mishnah, or this Pshatna Ramban on the Chumash. Says Chazal, Rabbi Isai, in the Gemorin Megillah of Tazayin Omed Beis, it's a Chazal that every person over here has to have in his mind at every moment for the rest of his life. Says Chazal, Omer Rabbi Yosef, Godl Talmud Torah Yosef Matzolos Nefoshos. You got that person that saved somebody's life. He went into the water. He risked his own life. And he saved somebody which saved generations and generations of people. Because he went and saved somebody's life. What reward does he get? And yet Chazal tell us that the person that's sitting in the Beis Medrash with the Mishnayis, with the Chumash, with the Gemara, with the Mishnabura, whatever it is, and he's sitting and he's learning Torah. Didn't say finishing Shas. Didn't say writing svarim, giving shurim, none of that. Just sitting and learning a posuk of Chumash. Just sitting and learning a Mishnah. You are greater than that person that saved that person's life. Now, it's an unbelievable thing. The Sivsi Chachomim on the Gemara over there, Megillah to Zion, writes, what's the reason? She says, number one, that Torah protects. Torah protects a person. We spoke about this previously. Another thing he says is, Hatzalus Nefoshah saves somebody's life, saves their guf in their physical manner, but a person that learns Torah, it lasts also for the next world as well, and it goes into and penetrates his neshama. Says the Taz in Yeridei and Hilkos Tamatur, don't think for a moment that Chas Vashalim of a person is in a situation where he has to save somebody's life and say, hey guys, sorry, I, I can't go in there right now. I'm a lifeguard, but I can't go in there because I have my pocket Mr. Bura with me. And I've got to learn my Mr. Bura right now. Chas Rosham. Says the Taz, we don't say that. Avad, if you're in a situation of Pekuach Nefesh, that's what you have to do. There's nothing that comes in front of Pekuach Nefesh. If you're in a situation where you can save someone's life, that's what you need to do. That's not the question of Chazal. 
The question is, Chazal isn't what should you do. The question is, who's greater? The person that saved the person's life and generations after him? Or the person that learns one posik of Chumash? Or one Mishnah? Or a bit of Gemara? Or whatever it may be on his level, what he does. It's an unbelievable thing, Rabbi Sa'am. We just take it for granted. We don't appreciate it. We all stand in front of Svarab all the time. Now and when we go away, wherever we're going to be going to. I don't appreciate what this is like. Everybody would, for the rest of that guy's life, say, do you remember you saved that person's life? Remember, remember, this is like a special thing, and have an anniversary, and make a whole party from it, because wow, I saved somebody's life. And Chazal are telling us that you're greater than that. Sit and open a saber and learn something, you are on a higher level, more reward than the person, the person that saved that person's life.